he hit something on the mail and I'm not sure if you have anything else to say about after this, but um, I, it, it comes, I think it comes down to the Lordship. You know what I mean? Uh, what we think about Jesus is really important on how we live our lives. You know what I mean? If we do think that Jesus is just a sneaky army guy, he's going to be everywhere like Joe Schmo, okay? That, <laughs> I mean, that you come in contact with. But if you really see Jesus as the one and only one that loved you enough to die for your sins and in your place, um, you're going to be grateful. You know, you want to give back um, to him and live your life for him. Um, him being Lord over your life. And I think that is what a lot of these mainstream preachers are just forsaking the Lordship of Christ. He's Lord over all. He's the boss. You know what I mean? He doesn't come second. He's not a side dish. He ain't even, he ain't dessert either. It's a, he's it's the a main, main course. course. <laughs> the main course. <laughs> he's, he's the first and he's the last. <laughs> See the beginning of the influence here? Well, you don't even need anything after. You don't need no um, appetizers. You don't need no dessert. Nope. <laughs> Is he more than enough? Yeah, he's more than enough. Gonna fail you right now. That's right. That's but, uh, right. I don't, don't want to say, it, like, that goes back to the pod, uh, podcast that we did not too long ago about how it's important to know who Jesus is. And I think this is definitely... Uh, shows you that it is because you know if you don't know that you're just gonna hear, hear Kenneth and you know that's you're gonna think that's what it is or Stephen or whatever and um you're not gonna live your life like you said um trying to please God if you just think that he's just sneaky army guy like you said <laughs> if you think that he's holy he's the holy guy yeah. and he's perfect and worthy for you, you to you know um get his praise and do better then then yeah your, your life's gonna you know reflect that i think mm -hmm. so yeah no i completely i really completely agree with that so when it comes down to it people need to hear truly who the lord jesus is and, and not by listening to the truth expositors we can no. probably point you to the right the right way but i'm gonna show you what the right way is right here okay <laughs> it's this good holy bible okay <laughs> We're going to point you to the right way. And I just, you know, I, I agree with that, Valencia. Um, the Bible going to tell you all that you need to know about Jesus um, from Genesis all the way to Revelation, okay? And you're going to know not only who he is, but what he requires of you. If you're going to say that you are a Christian, okay, it is, it's, it's sacrifice. It's, it's dying to self. It's persecution, you know? the scriptures i quote it all the time for those who desire to live a godly life will suffer persecution if 77 percent of america stats say that they're a christian something wrong something wrong man something wrong yeah do you see something wrong yeah they don't want that persecution part so you know they wanted to they want to be able to say yeah i believe and live their life the way they want Yes. Yep. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not ready for the change and and yeah. you know the uh the struggle. Yep. So that's true. You know, it's kind of funny. I, I I pay close attention uh this time listening to Kenneth's altar call. Um, if that's what you want to call it, because he ain't called nobody to the altar. Um, he <laughs> barely called him to Jesus. Um, but anyway, to raise I hands. Yeah, yeah, and definitely, and you know, one, two. Three thousand, okay, three thousand people. That's it. <laughs> I ain't gonna one of them anyway. Um, I, I paid attention, and he did mention sin, and honestly, I was really surprised by that, Valencia. He mentioned it twice. When I had an article, I heard sin all up and down that bad boy. That just me. <laughs> I was surprised about it twice, though. And, yeah, I know. I mean, I got to give the man some props, right? You know, mm -hmm. but. I really paid attention, and he quickly said, because you cannot rightly give an altar call and call people to Jesus Christ without really mentioning people's sin. So I got to give him props. He did do that. Um, he didn't dwell on it. And I remember Clay said um, before, and that's why we started with the gospel, with the truth expositors, because I thought it was so foundational. You know, how can you tell somebody that they have good, that there's good news if you don't tell them the bad news? Why would they need Jesus Christ when they don't feel like they need him. You know what I mean? Like, right. how you got to illustrate that point. Uh, we don't need a sneaky army, mm -hmm. Jesus. We don't, I mean, we don't need a, 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 a joyful 
like that makes zero sense to me. You know, we need a savior because we have sinned and we are destined for hell and God's wrath. And if you don't know what God's wrath looks like, read Revelation. If everything's good, then I mean, how many of us are really going to call on Jesus if things are going well? Like, you know, everything's all all great. I mean, we don't always remember to uh, thank him when things are good. But as soon as there's struggle, who the first person we want to call, you know, so... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so i think that's what you know people have to remember like that that's why you you need it because how are you going to get through all the bad you know without him so right and and, and i'm gonna piggyback off of that because that's excellent you know everybody and everybody needs the same message because we all are facing difficult times in our life maybe not at this particular moment but we will we do because it's life even the world is decaying and folding, and you know, right before our eyes. So we, we see the how sin has corrupted this world so bad to the point that Earth is groaning and growing groaning pains. I think Romans eight says, you know, what I mean. So everyone has issues that they're going to have to face in this life, and that's because of sin. So everybody needs Jesus. <laughs> everybody needs the Savior. So I, I I love that. I have to piggyback off of that one real quick. 